What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a kind of mid-range review. Um, we're going to be doing it on the Palmetto State AR-10 chambered in 308 Gen 2. So stick around, it's a pretty good one. So like I said before the intro ran, we're going to be doing a review of this PSA AR-10 Chamber 308 Gen 2. And uh, this is honestly like one of my favorite guns. Alright, but um, before we really get into this review, can I take one moment and ask you guys to subscribe? It would mean a ton to me. Um, we're doing really good on subscribers right now and we're constantly growing. The channel's going growing crazy and I love the support guys. So please go hit that subscribe button. But uh, anyway, back to the content. Um, this is the PSA Gen or PSA AR10 308 Gen 2. Um, this has a 20-inch barrel. Uh, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty long, pretty bulky. This gun's super heavy. Um, but I mean, you can go watch my other review of the gun if you really want really specific details. But just to give you a quick overview of what's on it: um, Magpul stock, uh, rubber PSA grip. Um, carbon fiber bipod, uh, and a Vortex 6-18 six to, uh, six to uh, crossfire scope, all right, and some Nikon scope mounts. I really like the scope mounts. They're pretty sweet. Um, but nothing's been done to this gun, so this is a really bare-bones test of PSA's accuracy. I guess that's a bad word for it, since we're not really doing groups. We're doing exploding pop bottles, but yeah. Anyway, um, we're going to be going out to the farm and we're going to be shooting this thing at 300 yards. The uh, reason I chose 300 yards is very practical range. Um, most of your hunting will be done about three, within 300 yards, I'd say. And uh, you wouldn't need to do much more hunting further than that, maybe like a Hail Mary shot. But realistically speaking, you wouldn't do any hunting over 300 yards. And if you, I mean, there's some people that do and that's just fine. But for your everyday homie. Like me, I'm not going to be taking a shot on deer 300 yards. Um, so yeah, so we'll be we'll be doing the pop outs 300 yards. Um, ammo types. We are not going to be shooting any expensive ammo. We are going to be going as cheap as we can go. We are going to be shooting some Tula. And disclaimer: this gun handles Tula like a freaking boss. All right. Um, it's sighted in for horned whitetail, but Tula shoots exactly the same in it which I don't understand at all. It actually shoots a better group of Tula FMJ than it does Hornady Whitetail. Um, don't know why. Would love for somebody to explain that to me, but I guess it is what it is. Um, so yeah, so without further ado, I guess let's go down to the farm and uh, shoot some pop bottles. All right, guys, so we are out here at 300 yards with the PSA 308 uh, 20-inch barrel. And we are going to be trying our luck. All right. So, like I said, this is just a kind of mid-range review. This this gun will reach a lot further out than the uh, 300 yards. All right. This gun is definitely good for probably a thousand yards if I had to guess. But we just don't have a thousand yards right now. Um, so uh, let's try to pop these pop bottles. Like I said, we're going to be shooting that Tula. And from my experience, this PSA handles the Tula really well. And uh, I'm a big fan of the fact that, that gun can't, this gun can shoot the Tula well. So uh, let's, let's see if I can back my words up with some shooting. As I missed the first shot. Oh, got it. Got it. Oh, right in front of it. Right in front of it. Well, I did pretty good, and then uh, I did pretty bad. All right, guys. So we we put in a test bullet. It's a Hornady Whitetail, and we're gonna see how well the gun handles an ammo change. So uh, let's give her a go. Missed. Shocker. And I got her, boys. I got her. Alright, 
So the last thing I want to do, there's a steel target down there, and I don't know if the GoPro's in, in, in camera or anything, but I'm going to try to hit it with the 308. I hit Ding. it. <laughs> Ding. I thought you could hear that. That is awesome. Well, guys, uh, this thing's a monster, and I have, I have nothing else to say about it. Um, we'll back down out this wind and we'll conclude this video. All right, guys, so we are back, and as you saw, this thing is an absolute beast. Um, I can't remember how many shots it took. This, I, I shot a while ago and actually did the, the sit down a different time. I think it was five shots or six shots. I know I hit all of them pretty consistently, um, and then I ring the gong there at the end. I like ringing the gong. Um, it just makes me feel good. But I think this thing shoots absolutely amazing, and the 300 yards is nowhere near its limit. This gun would actually probably be more suitable to test. Like, oh, will it do good at 1,000 yards? I wouldn't even, like, question. I've never shot this gun at 600 yards. Um, definitely going to have to be done. Maybe when I take the Grendel out to 600 yards, we'll have to get that in and uh, give her a go. And then we're going to have to try to find a 1,000-yard range. Um, there's no real good place for us to do it right now. Um, we can get a thousand yard line of sight, but it's hard to see where our bullets are impacting. And um, so that, that's, imp that, that's, that's doing us dirty right now. But we're, we're going to figure it out. We're going to have a thousand yard range eventually. Um, and we're going to get good at it. But, yeah. So the gun performed fantastic. Like I said, this is one of my favorite guns. And uh, I couldn't ask for better performance from the PSA 308. Um, Gen 2 that is. I mean, so they've already came out with the Gen 3, so the Gen 3 probably is that much better. I think the reason it shoots so good is because of the barrel, but that's my own personal opinion. I don't really have any, like, backing on that. But I, I think it definitely is the barrel the reason it shoots so good. Right. Well, uh, guys, that about does it. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed the content. I hope you enjoyed me shooting. Um, it was fun. I love doing these videos, and, uh, I love taking these guns out. It's awesome. Alright, so that about does it. Like I said, um, please go subscribe. It would mean a lot. I know I mentioned that in the beginning of the video, but it would still mean a lot if you do it at the end of the video too, in case you didn't do it at the beginning of the video. And, um, yeah. Well, that about does it. Thanks for watching, everybody. And remember, take someone outdoors. I'll see y'all next time.